What do you do if it's just you? In this scenario, we're going to discuss what to do if it's only your cell phone, only your laptop, or only a single device in the network that doesn't seem, doesn't seem to be working. So, for example, you get to work and your phone just doesn't connect to the Wi-Fi very well or your laptop or whatever. A single device. No one else is having trouble. Or maybe it's a single POS and none of the others are having trouble. So it's probably not Comcast. It's probably not the network. It's probably that device, that appliance. There's a few things you can do. First of all, put in an IT ticket. Even if it is just one device, it sometimes can be the network. It sometimes can be Comcast, etc. These things are complicated. And there's not a one size fits all. Well, if that one's not working, then it's definitely not the cable internet. It could be the cable internet. It's hard to explain. First things first, put in an IT ticket. Second of all, try not to use that device if it's avoidable. Now let's talk about if it's your phone or your laptop. The first thing you want to do is just reboot it. Everyone's guilty of this, including IT guys. We don't reboot our devices enough. These devices are designed by other IT engineers and computer nerds to be rebooted way more often than any human on earth reboots things. I know my tabs, my tabs, my precious, precious tabs I'm the same way. Chrome is updated now. When you reboot your device, it is possible to have all your 57,000 tabs reappear just like they were before you rebooted your device. You can test that by opening a couple of unimportant tabs. Open Reddit and one and Instagram and another tab. Reboot your laptop. Did they pop back up? Then you're probably okay. If they didn't, look in settings. Google how to make Chrome preserve tabs on reboot and you'll find some settings you can adjust. In my Macintosh, using Chrome, my MacBook Pro just started doing it for me automatically, which is how most technology should work. So number one, reboot the device. That's true of your phone as well. With Android phones, there's the two-finger salute you can still do. Hold it down, hit reboot. iPhones have gotten a little weird on it. You go into settings, then you look at shutdown at the bottom, and once it's shut down, you restart it. They made it a little harder to restart iPhones now but completely power cycle the device. Properly reboot your laptop, whatever it is. Number two, update the operating system. Something else we don't do. Sometimes it takes an hour for it to update. Who has that kind of time in the year 2027? Well, you gotta make the time now because your device isn't working. So update it, run all the updates you need to. OS is one update, usually separate from apps that you're using. Update all that stuff. And this is my move, update it, and then reboot it. And that way it's all done at once. Here come your Chrome tabs. You know, Chrome's updated. You know, Windows or the Mac is updated. Everything's ready to go. If it is an individual app that's giving you trouble, let's say it's not your phone. It's just Resi. Everything else works fine. I can go to Safari or Chrome and I can type in Google.com and I get to Google things or I can type in, you know, what time is it dot edu and it gives me the time. So Internet's working that app is working, Chrome or Safari is working. Why isn't Resi able to talk to the cloud, but this can talk to the cloud? Update Resi. Go into iOS settings or go into whatever settings, usually iOS, and update the app as well. The last move you can do, if you've updated the app, you've rebooted, and you've updated the iOS, if it is on the app level, if, if Resi's not working, just pretend like Resi's Instagram. How do you handle Instagram? If it doesn't want to boot, right? You log out, you log back in, you delete the app. It's free to re-download it. It's free to get it the first time. It's free to get it the millionth time. Delete the app and re-download the app. Sometimes the way the code's written, there's just some old residue of code base in the operating system, some clutter in there, and a complete uninstall, reinstall will fix it. Beyond that, you wait for us to come. There are some tricks that we can do, but they're going into operating levels, operating system level. And if I tell you now, I may be giving you enough data to get yourself into real trouble. You really want an IT nerd to come on the, on the scene then and help you out. So once you've rebooted the device, updated the operating system, updated the app, and kind of rebooted the app, that's kind of what I'm doing by deleting and reinstalling. I'm just rebooting the app within. That's it. You reach out for help. We'll help you fix your device. The important thing is stay calm. If it's just you, you can solve it.